question says, and it's a typical Graham's law question. You have 0.00488 moles of N2O. That's a fusion through an orifice in a certain period of time. How much NO2 will fuse in the same time under the same condition? So this is about a mount. So a mount is one of those that we invert. So you would say a mount of NO2 divided by the amount of N2O equals the square root of the inverse of that. So the molar mass of N2O over the molar mass of NO2. First question, how do I know to put a mount of NO2 on the top here? Or why did I do that? Yeah, it's just easiest. Conceptually, it doesn't matter which way I do this. If I flip this, then I would flip this. But because they asked for the amount of NO2, I just prefer to have it in the numerator. Otherwise, it won't matter. OK, it also says that the first one, this amount happened under a certain period of time. And sometimes they list the time actual, say it's 10 seconds or a minute or whatever. And they'll say the second one occurred under the same amount of time. In that case, where that variable is true for both, that variable is not going to be used. So we're not going to use the time, even though it mentioned it here. It's just a way to standardize to say, hey, these both occurred under the same time period. So we don't need the time, even though they mentioned it. So all we need to do now is a calculation. The amount of NO2 over 0 0.00488. Uh, who's this go back to that I stole it from? Oh, way over there. All right, and then uh, equals, now i just be able to calculate molar mass. So two nitrogens at 14.01 plus an oxygen at 16. And then on the bottom, one nitrogen at 14.01 plus two oxygens at 16. Whatever that number is, I cross multiply and solve for the amount of NO2.